Eunon, Lagunok. Buenos días. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, from what our Deputy Minister said yesterday, I had a speech of two hours long. And in fact, that's what it says in the program. I'm, I've got two hours to speak, but that would be a bit too much. And in Technica, we work differently. And one of the values that we have in Technica is collaboration. And collaboration is one of the strongest principles of Technica. And another of our values is speed, because we have to move in a globalized world, and we need to do new things, and we need to do them quickly. And that's why, since we've got a bit of a major delay, we need to be very quick, because otherwise we're going to arrive late. And to be speedy, we need to be creative. We need to take initiatives. We need to be able to do things. Yesterday, our Deputy Minister Jorge said to us that ideas are useless without action. And for action, you need research. And ideas plus action always brings us to innovation. That's what he said. And that's what technique is all about. We use ideas and we do things. We are people that do things. We're action-based. And many other regions in Spain come to us and they ask me, how come, how did we ever think about setting up Technica? How did that idea ever come to our minds? In 2004, when Jorge and I were in the bus government, we saw that our vocational training schools did all sorts of different things, new things that could be used to make our vocational training schools stand out. And we said, okay, that's great. That's that's fine. That's fantastic. But how how come if we take two or three really good uh, vocational training schools and we use the lately the mediocre ones to one side? That's not very good. Why don't we try to get the whole of our network to collaborate, all the schools to collaborate together, so that innovation can be used by everybody? And that's what happens in Technica. So let's look at where new things happen. Where do we innovate? We know that there are lots of places where we can innovate in our schools, in our companies, in research centers, in technology centers, in universities. And so we think this ability to observe and to, to be watchful of things is very important. And then what we have to do is to bring together these ideas, all sorts of projects, and take them to a happy ending. And that's what try, we try to do at Technica. We always collaborate while we're doing it, by the way. We don't do it on our own. And there's another important step, which is transfer. This is what we do. You know, what we do has to be used for all, useful for all our vocational training schools, but also for our companies and for vocational training schools in other regions and countries. And it has to be useful to work and train other teachers in other training centers. And how does that work? Well, we have what we call the dynamizers, so those people that do Draw, that push people forward, and they work alongside the teachers at vocational training schools. We have a series of projects in which over 200 teachers are working. These uh, teachers have a timetable, of course, and they have uh, times during which they're teaching at their schools and other times when they can work on the projects that we've organized. That's how we operate. And to be able to manage all this, we've established a system which I believe is effective. And this system or processes
because we uh, demand uh, quality from our schools, but we also provide uh, quality. And this is our uh, quality, uh, and uh, this is our process. And here we can see our surveillance and the observation that I mentioned before. We see where something new is being created, and that's where we go with our collaborators and dynamizers. We also need to decide which are the projects that are going to be developed. This year, we've developed 140 projects in public schools, 60 in uh, um, private schools, so we are managing uh, around 200 projects. But we also have to ask our deputy minister that to be able to move forward with these projects, we need money and time, which is also something important. Therefore, we manage projects, and we're also uh, concerned about the, the transfer of these outcomes and results. And there's uh, two. Uh, strong elements, and that's that we have a deputy minister in the education ministry with a, a level of a grantee uh, and uh, the uh, support that they provide. And we've also have created a network. This uh, gives us a lot of support, and this allows us to transfer our innovations to SMEs. And as I've said before, this system needs a management uh, system that is efficient. Now I will ask for both uh, Mertia and Isidro to please uh, join me so that we can talk about this issue. Yes, please join me. Gure ikastetxetan urte aspalditikan hasi ginen in our uh, schools for a long time, we've implemented uh, quality systems to, for uh, surveillance. So could you explain what is being done by Technica and what we want to achieve in the future? Good morning. I'm going to briefly speak about uh, what we're working on and now regarding quality and uh, continuous improvement, what we've done up till now. There we go. We've uh, focused during these last years in working with the management teams of the different uh, vocational training schools to provide them the support that they have needed to be able to deploy their own strategy. Each school decides uh, or sets their own objectives, and our task is to provide them with res resources and simple uh, products to use that will allow them to see what is the evolution of their management and strategy and how they're able to reach their objectives. The work has a focus, as you can see on the screen, on working with a uh, quality excellence uh, framework. This is our own uh, framework in the Basque Country, but uh, uh, the European uh, Foundation for Quality Management has uh, given uh, its approval to. So we know we're working with uh, this uh, uh, quality level. This framework provides a conceptual uh, framework, and we will be designing our management uh, systems, taking into account the different strategies of the schools. The starting point is a system by processes that already gives them one first foundation to uh, build from there onwards uh, what they need to develop to uh, achieve their objectives. We also have an 
embedded system because the uh, management uh, system by processes uh, also takes into account the ISO 9001. It has been a policy of the Department on, of the Deputy Ministry to always have an external benchmark that is acknowledged internationally. So we've always uh, designed according to this. And uh, regarding um, also uh, risk prevention and the environment. In the last project in which we've worked that has become a product and is now being transferred is the design of a lean methodology that has allowed us to see those concepts or co that are used in the lean culture and to transfer them to education. As a result, we have uh, different uh, figures, but I'm not going to go into that because that's not so important anymore. This already has been implemented, and now we need to continue moving forward and to see what our new challenges are. What are we uh, thinking about when we think about new uh, challenges? Well, in the sphere of uh, management, we need to have management teams that are able to uh, provide uh, solutions in an agile and flexible uh, way to any uh, problems in the uh, industry that allows them to have flexible environments to be able to adapt to those new objectives. And all this has to be based on uh, people. And as Iñaki said, uh, and Jorge has also said, and we will all be saying, this is our biggest strength, the people that work with us. And in fact, I work with the managing teams, and we have uh, people that are really committed. So from there onwards, we defined uh, five areas uh, that we're already working on. One of the issues is uh, generational replacement. It is a risk that we are observing, but it's also a great opportunity we have uh, management teams in most uh, centers with people that have been working with a long, for a long time, that have uh, learned for many years, that have a uh, know-how and experience that if we don't manage this uh, adequately, then we will probably lose this. On the other hand, it is a wonderful opportunity because we have now people in the management teams uh, that are much younger and that also contribute other skills that maybe uh, we that are older don't have. So if we're able to provide this support uh, to uh, generational replacement, uh, then uh, the result will be very positive. Another uh, issue involved here is what are the behaviors and skills that are linked to uh, uh, the projects for the year 2020 and to other global trends. Something else uh, that we are focusing on is to include uh, social and legal responsibilities of our uh, schools. We need to adapt to the new trends and new needs, and we want to work with uh, improved methods based on what we've started to learn regarding new tools uh, that are providing new possibilities and pathways. And uh, finally, uh, we need to develop our work in collaboration uh, to provide uh, support to our whole uh, VET system. In the issue of generational replacement, what are we focusing on? We are creating a specific plans for each center or school because they have different needs. We are also training the new management teams, and we are also working on the sharing and dissemination of best practices, uh, both in Spain and internationally. If we talk about social or legal responsibility, this is uh, very interesting because we're already part of the International Technical 
Technical Committee for the ISO 21001 that is uh, working on the management of school centers. This will allow us to have first-hand knowledge of what the uh, requirements uh, will be in the future. And as there are some aspects that are linked to ethics, uh, intellectual property, and data protection, this will also open our work to new fields. So we have to see how we uh, embed all these requirements in our systems. We also uh, work on uh, training and develop our networks. Regarding the evolution of the um, management model, we need to include new and more agile methods that go to the uh, point and to provide support to management teams so that they can uh, uh, adapt to the new systems. What are the uh, improvement uh, advanced methods? We are now uh, focusing on lean tools. We created some workshops to understand how to use the value map tool to provide more uh, efficiency to activities and processes that are being developed in the schools, which are obtaining very positive results and we've also started collaborating in different international projects linked to this idea and finally the support to the assessment of the system we have to collaborate define the different elements collaborate in the assessment to include the knowledge that we have and once again share best uh, practices uh, through uh, communities through small networks, uh, even online networks, and uh, during uh, working sessions, workshops. But we really uh, have to focus on sharing what we've learned. And I would like to finish and give the floor to Isidro, and that will uh, explain uh, the support that he's been giving uh, from our department. Thank you, Merce. I would also like uh, to thank Technica for giving me the chance of uh, explaining our experience. Let me give you context. It's 2016, and I became the director of my, of my school. I was in a school with uh, 300 students and 70 uh, teachers. and. Uh, five uh, working families in Usurville. When I got there, uh, two things caught my attention. On the one hand, two members of the management team were going to uh, retire. And on the other hand, Jorge was working on the fourth uh, plan for VET of the uh, Basque Country, which uh, demanded a structural change. So this was our starting point, and we asked uh, Technica for help. We requested the uh, support of the Continuous Improvement Department. At the time, Rosana was uh, at the head, so thank you for your help. And we drafted a specific plan for the Usurville School. The first thing was to analyze the uh, features of the school, to define what our objectives were, to uh, understand the changes we needed to make regarding um, methodologies as well as other things. And on the other hand, we had to set a training uh, plan. And finally, we wanted to disseminate this culture amongst the teaching staff. We observed that a deep ch uh, change, a disruptive uh, change had to take uh, place. And to do so, we uh, asked Technica for its help. The objectives of uh, VET were defined, um, but we have the help of Technica, and with them uh, we were able to uh, uh, make all the changes, and that was our experience. Thank you.